the black and white threshold levels are going to give you the most control over the red, green, and blue levels in your image. This is very important when you are editing an astrophotography image and can help make your photos look much more crisp and clean. In order to set the black and white threshold points, first make sure the info box is visible while you are editing your photo. In order to pull up the info box, simply go to the Window tab and select Info. The info box will now pop up and it will give you the amount of red, green, and blue in your photo when you select the black and white threshold points. To set the black and white threshold points, first create a new layer, then go to the Layer tab, New Adjustment Layer, and down to Threshold near the bottom. Hit OK. And now your image is going to show the black and white structures. In order to see more of these, take the slider and drag it to the left. In order to set the black threshold point, zoom into an area that looks completely black. To zoom in, click on the magnifying glass that is at the bottom of the menu and click on an area that looks completely black. Go to the eyedropper tool right-click, and choose Color Sampler Tool. Simply click for your black threshold point. Now your red, green, and blue levels for that point are going to pop up in your info box. In order to set the white threshold point, go back to your magnifying glass, hit Fit Screen, zoom in again on the photo, and find an area that looks completely white. Again, select the Color Sampler tool and click on your white point. Now the white levels have popped up on our info box. Close out the threshold box. Delete the threshold layer by right-clicking. I'm going to Delete Layer. Select Yes. Go back to the magnifying tool. Hit Fit Screen. And now you are ready to begin editing your levels.